dedicate this one to Jam Roll 876. Pick up yourself, crazy girl. Jackie Law. Nice. Yeah, man, excellent. It was great, you know what I'm saying? I like the vibes of the people. You know what I'm saying? The interaction with the crowd and nice vibes, you know? I like good listeners when I'm performing, you know? Yeah. I'm here like um, four weeks now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen you were in Italy yeah. before. Yeah. And Slovenia. Um, I always have, I have an album coming. Uh, I don't have a set date, but I'm watching this thing that going on until it free up a little bit so I can do like a face-to-face -face release. I don't want to do an online release. Okay. I want to do a face-to-face -face interaction. Yeah. Yeah, man, as Mia says, the same project I've been working on. And I've been working on my farming project also. It was great in Israel too. Okay, yeah. well, you went there for music? Or? Yeah, no, okay. I, I went there to do some of my album. Then I went back for a show. Okay. For a concert, yeah. Well, all the experience was great because you, as I mean, someone entering the industry, you have to just give thanks to every bit of the, the guidance and the guideline the elders, you know what I'm saying, paved the way for. Because every one of them good ways and them bad ways about them, but, you know, we still appreciate, we never disregard the good ways and the you know what I'm saying, the invitation, mm. and the, you know, yeah, we do give thanks to all our who strength and I and I out there, and, you know, I want to do the same in return. Well, as I said, June Arena is the groundbreaking for Jamaica. That's where it all started, like, getting to interact with the world. Like when you record and you're on a 45, that's a, a, a vinyl. Yeah. You understand me? I mean, those days it was vinyl, there was no CD. Mm -hmm. So vinyl, that's the 45 and high bias cassette. So, yeah, because technology has come in play and you know technology increase so, I mean there's a lot of changes because back then we were known not like now but and now we have technology and it's, it's still I mean it, things advance you know because when you have the platform the network in your hand you can you know give time to the people and to invent social media and everything because it works you know we're still we're not ungrateful isn't it so yeah, we give thanks to the platform so we can move around and we can even. It's the same thing bring us to Europe. You know, mm. the people requesting and listening to the songs. Same great work because you know, there is them I can't see them here. And you know, back then, I was like happy to work with you. You know what I'm saying? All these people, because I was like requesting to work for them because of their talent. Yes, I work with I have my son that I'm working with. Um, wow. Other people, like friends and other artists, and also the album that will release maybe the end of this year or next year, possibly. I'm a part production of it. Because right now, anyone I'm working with, I want to be like the executive producer for my project. Thank you.
that's why I get I beat them up because without them, me alone couldn't do the thing, you know, I'm not ungrateful as I tell you. It's not like it's, well, for me, I'm from the country, I was raised that way, that's all I see my family doing. So it's like a part of you. So when something becomes a part of you as your duty, it's not hard. You understand? It's like you know you have a 9 to 5 and you have to go to work. It's hard, but it's not hard. <laughs> you understand? It's hard. Yeah. But with farming, you have like, you know, Yeah, like well, me, oh, but as we said, technology increase and we advance as we go by. Now I do, like, irrigation farming. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, I used to, like, have to buy a lot of sprinklers and mm -hmm. now I do, like, one hectare mm -hmm. of irrigation. Okay. It's called, we call it drip holes, but worldwide it's irrigation. Mm -hmm. So I don't I can sit on my farm in one of my cabin and smoke and meditate while the plants is being taken care of. Uh, well in Jamaica still you know, rightfully you know, as a human being, you know, you are you have the right to like have a couple of plants in your yard, but me still, I'm not responsible for the government or how them do them thing because I'm a Rasta and this is something I use. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And my brothers and sisters who I worship with, they use it as sacraments also. So it's not something I'm hiding from because I cultivate it. And normally, I don't sell marijuana, but I cultivate it. But if you want to give me something in return for it, but I'm not selling, I don't sell, but I give to people and they give me a gift. You understand me? Yeah. Okay, so you never had No, I just exchange, you know? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Because so, um, I remember I my marijuana is branded medicinal. Okay. So it's like I'm giving you some medicine. No, not really. No, I never have no issues. And maybe back then, you know, you know, how it was like that. But I don't have no issues since, you know, you know, back in the days, like earlier. But me never have no issue. But I know ones and ones who had it, but from my nice side up Rastafari and Chadin, I never really been, because you know, police know that Rasta use this thing, you know. Yeah, because it's not every Rasta man smoke. Some people just burn it as burnt offering. It was, so, I mean, it's all about the sacrament. I have no issue, you know, because it's my trading, my art of trading. It's a bubble shanty, you know, and Prince Emmanuel teach her and I a discipline, principle. So if you trad within the principles of Rastafari, you really, you can get harassed. But if you're trading your way and doing the right thing, nobody not going to really harass you. And you know what I mean? I say, I and I move different, you know, because. You know, I and I faith is, Baba Shanti is my faith, as you would say, religion. No, I had recorded somewhere before, but, you know, it wasn't really a big thing, you know. 
it was a small thing and then Junior Reed Studio is a proper studio. Well, it was, you know what I'm saying, I was happy to be there to know that I'm, on, I'm going on a big label and, you know what I'm saying, featuring to the world with some big artists. Well, I'm, I'm be honest with you still, when I, I was much younger, my parents uh, left us and go abroad. So everything was accepted, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm mature. <laughs> you understand me? I mean, I can make decisions for my own. So I mean, everything was all right. It was no, you know, because... My mother still, you know, she's a Christian, but she know how to love, not to neglect. So if you're preaching love, mm. that means you're supposed to accept me the way I am. Mm. You understand know me? Yeah. yeah. But sometimes there are... Yeah, whenever I'm, when I have no rocky road, honestly, me and my whole lady is like, okay. good like that. Well, I'm in France now. No, but I mean, not just for performing, like for oh. like living, like, for no, I'm for changing. Just, no, I just want freestyle and just. <laughs> you know? Because there are like many Jamaican artists that move to. Maybe, all right, all right, then I, I, want, I will live in France then. <laughs> I know. <Yes. laughs> I'm not saying that, but I'm just asking if you ever considered it because. No, but no, you, you said to me I, I might consider it. Who to tell? <laughs> I'm doing, I'm considering right now, like, <laughs> yeah, as oh. you ask. Oh, you're really considering, yeah, yeah. okay. For, okay, be, be, is there any reason why you're considering moving out of Jamaica? No, I'm not moving out of Jamaica. No. If you live somewhere, you don't have to, like, move out of Jamaica <laughs> to live somewhere. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. No, I'm not going to move. Me and my family are Jamaica, you know, and my farm. I cannot take it with me, so I have to go back. <laughs> yeah. Um, soon I go to Jamaica, like in a couple of weeks. Okay, alright. And then I'll be back. Because I'm thinking about friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think... so, there were probably more people than here. It was packed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, usually Kabbalah yeah, man, yeah, it was, it was so loud, I think. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for the interview. Yeah, thanks for having me. No problem, yes, thanks. Yes. Say so give thanks for the seed when me so never fell among stone and turn and wash way. Every time the farmer man touching at the farm, the marks farmer man where you got there. Six days of the week me put in and you know say me whole for me sabbat every Saturday. Me no want no love for them rude, me no know which part them I go with that day. Yeah, you know it's fire me, so fire me, snake, farmer man representing for 876. One time. Oh.